let's test this file uploads here. Mm, I want to send an image in this in, in the thing here. I can get let me get a let, let me get a image from my computer. I can get from my documents and I can put for example my avatar here. Okay. So let's follow the burp history when I do this this image upload. So when I click on send message, did a touch, okay, for I read the, the message. Uh, it created a message as it appeared. Self destruct false in VL false, okay. And after that, it, uh, okay. It updated my message using uh, adding a attachment URL here. That's interesting. That, that's really interesting. Uh, oh, no, no. Don't access as is. It's not useless in bug bounty. I found many vulnerabilities using don't access as actually. As I said, in React applications, don't don't bother trying to bypass this encoding. Um, Re React is a web framework developed by Meta, and it's really well secured for these cases. So don't bother trying to bypass in the scenarios. You can try to bypass if you saw a old PHP application that uses a a a, a young uh, sanitizing method that that is not that, that, that was not well maintained like the, the sanitization did my meta so this is not something that I would personally be trying to to bypass it because it, it's not worth it. it it's it's not worth it at all so okay this upload uh, was interesting I, I I got so many insights right now the first thing that I want to try is to upload things that is not a image here. So let's get here my terminal and that will be creating con data live stream live stream. Okay. So let's create a test.txt file and this text file will be a hello world for example. Uh, let me try to upload here this image. Uh, I go here to work on that uh, live stream. It appears to be then it appears that that I can upload this these files. So what happens when I click here on send? Yeah, I can upload, but but. It's probably intended in this scenario because you can also add a file here, not only image files, but any type of files. But this, this gives, a, gives me an, another insight that I don't know if everyone knows, but you can execute XSS by doing a image upload also. How you can do this? Let me try to create a index.html file here. No, not index. Let me try to create a xss.html file here. This, this file will be a normal HTML file. I can add a title. Title. And this the title will be xss and my body body will have a script tag and this script will contain my XSS payload. So alert XSS works, for example. Let me try again. Now upload this image here, this file xss.html and see what happened. Yeah, normally uh, it appears that Okay, my, my, my file is being attached here. Uh, 
and, and nothing triggers at all. But what happens when I open this file, this HTML file? Okay, this is something that I wasn't expecting that my, my application would be fixing, but it is. Some cases, the application can return this file without sanitization. But, so if this file is being, uh, is being shown, is being presented in a in-scope domain, for example, this, in, in my application scenario, this would be an in-scope domain. And you can put code, the, the HTML code here and it executes. Uh, you have an XSS, basically. You uploaded a file that you can use JavaScript. It's running in the context of the application and it's working well. Uh, but the, the normal way to prevent this kind of attack is to returning. Let, let me see the, the response here. Yeah, the, oh, okay, the, the normal way to prevent this kind of attack would be adding a content disposition header in the response saying that this is a, a attachment uh, file. So this way the server will never render the file that I'm giving, just serving it as a detachment, just serving it as a download. So because the application don't return my file in a uh, in, 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 a, in, in as an attachment, as I said, it gives me it, it makes me want to try to use a XSS SVG file here. What is this? SVG file is a normal image file, but the difference is that this image uses XML to, to create the file. And also you can use script tags with JavaScript and these images get executed, this script gets executed. So let me try again, create another file, xss.svg and I'll be putting another message here called XSS works. So this is a, 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 a little similar to my HTML file that I showed before, but the difference is that this is not the HTML file, it's a SVG file. So let me try again. Now I'll be uh, uploading this SVG file here. And when I hit on send, my image was correctly uploaded, okay. But what happens when I open this image? And as you can see, my alert is being triggered. So, and it's running on my, on the context of my application. So this means that I executed an XSS in, in my application. I can do anything that I would do in a normal XSS attack in this, uh, in, in this, file here in this file. So let me try, for example, I'll be recreating. Let me copy this image here and I'll create it xss2.svg and open my xss2. And now I'll not be, uh, I'll be adding more uh, debug alerts here. The first thing that I want to show is a document.domain to prove that my application, that, that my XSS is being running on the context of my application. And I want to put here actually dot document.cookies.cookie also. So I can see that a user can, uh, can, can grab information from this application, from the, 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 the victims of the attack. So let me get my second XVG, SVG here. And when I hit send. Okay, the first thing, it proves that my, my, my SS, XSS is running on my application. This is the, the applications URL, the applications API URL in this scenario. And the second thing, th there's no cookies in this scenario, but <laughs> let me add a cookie here so we can we can show as proof of concept. So, page cookie. Uh, the value will be a super secret value. So I manually add a cookie, but in a real application, will be any cookies stored there. 
Go again. And now, my fake cookie, super secret cookie, your yeah, super secret value is being shown. This video was recorded during our live stream that we're recording every Thursday night. So feel free to join us. And if you enjoy this content, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And see you in my next video.